Hey, what is up, guys? This is the Dino Gamer back with another video. Today, I'm here with another Jurassic World Evolution, and today, guys, we are gonna continue on a not not five starring our park. No, we don't care about that. Uh, putting every single species of dinosaurs into this park, and honestly, guys, right now, I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> I'm very concerned because I'm looking at this right now and I'm thinking holy crap there's only like I don't I don't even know how many species like maybe 20 I want to say 20 species in this island so far and we're nowhere close we still have like 36 species to fit, to fit in and we, we only have this much space I'm, I'm a little bit nervous uh, some things are gonna have to share some uh, enclosures uh, you know some more things like for example uh, I might put the uh, a Sinoceratops or um, what do you call it? The Torsaurus in here. I'm not going to put both because, you know, population with these guys are not going to be, um, it's not very good. But as far as like the Styracosaurus goes, they're pretty okay with it. So I think we're going to go ahead and start off with that. Uh, why? No, stop. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Okay. So let's see. I think I want to do, I think I want to do the Torsaurus. Because, from what I understand, um, the Sinoceratops are actually a little bit more lenient than the Taurosaurus is, so I think it. I think this will be okay. So, we'll get them at very low land and a lot of, um, ooh, there we go, I like that. We'll, we'll try to get them at, uh, a low amount. Population 2 to 13, that's good. Um, 1 to 4. Four. We'll do that. We'll do that. Um, and I want to increase their lifespan. I'm going to start doing that with the dinosaurs. I want them to have a greater lifespan because, um, well, I want them to last long. I don't want to have to be dealing with like a, a bunch of dead dinosaurs all because I decided, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna edit their genome so that they uh, have more lifespan. Um, 1% <laughs> viability. I think that'll be good. So we'll do two of them. We'll do two of them, and we'll put them into this enclosure, the Ceratops enclosure. Wait, what is happening? Whoa, what the heck? Are these guys fighting? What the heck? That was like a, that was like a little, uh, I think that was more like a false alarm kind of thing. Anyway, so today, our plan is to fill in this enclosure, which, uh, I, okay, so I'm going to be honest. Every time I do an episode of this, I never really know what I'm going to put, you know, I, I don't plan ahead, so I don't know what I'm putting in that enclosure today. Um, we already have all the stegosaurs in there, so, or in, in our park, I mean, so I think now we focus on sauropods, I think? Um, see, the thing is... Oh, God damn. Okay, so there's not a whole lot of, like, uh, you know, herbivores anymore as far as armored ones go. So we're either going to have to work with hadrosaurs or we're going to have to work with um, uh, sauropods. And I don't want to waste a small enclosure like that on a sauropod, so I think I'm going to go ahead and start putting some uh, some hadrosaurs in there. Like, uh... Oh, well, let's just, go, let's just go down the list, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and start with... Uh, Corythosaurus, which I think I already modified its genome. We'll put in Corythosaurus, and uh, I'm trying to see. First off, I want to increase its lifespan a little bit. Ooh, that's good. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, social, that's, that's pretty good. We'll go ahead and make three of them. We'll change their uh, skins a little bit. Uh, there's only three skins. There's the default, the taiga, and I think the... Vivid. Oh, I didn't know they had Vivid. Well, I think I, I actually, I think I did, because that's where it started off with. I mean, have I actually really seen the Corythosaurus on Vivid? I don't think I have, so. Um, let's see. And then we're going to make some uh, Edmontosauruses with that, because, you know, why not? Uh, there we go. So, I don't think I've modified this genome yet, and we're going to go ahead and do Wetland. Um, trying to trying to there we go increase its um i'm trying to like increase its uh its um oh what do you fucking call it the fucking um the 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 age is lifespan there you go so zero to 14 so wait does it not have a place where i can edit the land how much land it needs oh yes it does here it is there we go that's good all right now we will incubate that 
And we will wait patiently. And while we're waiting patiently, uh, I'm going to set up the next enclosure, which is going to be this one, which I think is going to be one big enclosure. These next couple of ones I want to be um, big enclosures. I, th I think that's what I want, right? I don't know. <laughs> I really had to think about this. So let's see. Uh, incubation failed, of course. I want to do that. What's the damage? And Montasaurus, that's fine. What's the viability even at? Um, I can't tell from here. Um, viability is at 11%, which I could have told from there, but I didn't want to. Anyways, so this is gonna be an enclosure, and this is gonna be an enclosure. Both of these are gonna be, are gonna have sauropods in them. But the question is, I. What do I like? What do I want in there with like the the sauropods? Because um, from here on, all of this has to be carnivores. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this is not gonna be good. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna so let's see. Okay, the tourist sources are ready, so we'll go ahead and release them real quick. And while that's happening, we'll focus on just fixing this, not fixing, but continuing on to this enclosure. I think I know what I'm going to do, and I think what I'm going to do is, because I want to add in everything onto this island, like all the gates, all the fences. I want to add in as much stuff as possible. Damn it. It's not straight, but you know what? I think that's fine. That's fine. Um, wait, what does not have power? Everything has power. What are you talking about? So let's go ahead and just get these guys. And I think the Corythosaurus is already. Are they already? Yes, they are. Perfect. Let's get them all out of there and put them in their new enclosure. And then dinosaur ready to release. That's the Edmontosaurus. We're gonna make a couple uh, more Edmontosauruses because I want I want a lot of dinosaurs living here. So we'll do that. And yeah, that's all we'll do. That's all we'll do. We'll incubate that, and then we'll make a third one and make it so that it's default. So there's a lot of stuff I need to do today as far as this uh, island goes. Um, I just want like small patches. I don't want like anything huge. Um, so kind of like this. Perfect, I think that looks good. Oh, and then what I'll do is I'll make like a little river kind of going, um, kind of going from here. And it's kind of like, just like right there while it kind of continues this way. I like that. And then what we can do is we can continue it this way. I want to start like uh, making the island, like making the park actually look like, uh, like I'm <laughs> making it look like I actually tried on it, you know? Uh, I want it to be like, like not, not let, I kind of want to say like designed, but like more like I just want to make it look like an actual enclosure. I want it, I want to, uh, like I want people to look at this as like like if it was in its if the dinosaur was in its natural like environment you know because you know that's the thing about Jurassic World Evolution you know um, as limited as we are in this game you could still manage to do stuff like that which is honestly to me very impressive I like that so what we'll do is we'll put the food right here no that's the wrong place um, here we go. We'll have two different food sources since there's two different types of dinosaurs. So we'll do that. Um, we should probably get the helicopters on these next two Corythosauruses before they start freaking out at the fact that there's only two of them. Actually, they're, they're doing pretty good. And then we'll transport these uh, Taurosauruses into their new enclosure with uh, the Styracosauruses and the uh, Pentaceratops. Perfect. I like it. Now we need to get the... Um, Edmontosaurus is out here. There we go. Get all of those guys out of here. And then we'll transport these guys into their new homes. So, here we go. Alright, so, anyways, yes, I know, it's been, I know it seems like I've been playing a lot of Jurassic World Evolution lately. But that's mainly because there's really nothing else for me to play out there. That, and because of my schedule, I really don't need a whole lot to play. You know, um, I have other stuff to work on, so, you know, that's just, 
I, I mean, I know that at the time that I'm recording this, and or at the time that I'm going to be uploading this, it's mainly going to be a lot of Jurassic World Evolution videos because, well, that's kind of all I'm making right now. I'm not really making anything else other than Jurassic World Evolution at the moment, mainly because I just have really nothing else to upload. Um, you know, there's a couple of new games here and there, but for the most part, I don't really have anything. Um... You know, I, I, there, there are stuff I do want to play, but honestly, I just don't think I, I need to, I really want to play them right now, because, let's face it, I don't need to. <laughs> I have it, I have Jurassic World Evolution. There we go, no power, we're about to have some power. Mm, perfect, fits like a damn glove, there we go, I like that. Um... So I think, okay, so I've been thinking about this next enclosure, the one over here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Apatosaurus's, Allosaurus, and Dilophosaurus in here. I think there'll be enough room, and that's three dinosaurs in one enclosure. So that's perfect for me. And honestly, I think that, that'll that work out because um, there, there's like this, uh, there was this chart thing that was like, uh, that was kind of... Um, that was kind of getting shown around for Jurassic World Evolution players, uh, where it kind of showed which dinosaurs can live with what other dinosaurs, you know? Like, uh, for example, some dino- like, you know, small carnivores can live with, uh, armored herbivores, you know? And, uh, larger herbivores. And when they mean larger herbivores, they mean sauropods. And carnivores, you know, pretty much all carnivores, except, uh, the Indominus Rex can live with sauropods, because the Indominus Rex is the only- thing that can actually take down sauropods, which is actually a good thing because when you're doing something like this, it's very convenient to put sauropods and, you know, carnivores in the same enclosure, seeing that both those dinosaurs have kind of a lot in common in terms of environments, you know? They need a large enclosure to survive in with enough room to have more than one, you know, species of dinosaurs. Because Allosaurus, like, stuff like Allosaurus, I'm pretty, they, they can live alone, but now that, you know, well, I mean, we've always known this, but now that we know that they can live with, like, sauropods, they can also have stuff like Apatosaurus in there, making this a bit more convenient for us. Um, that's just what I think, and honestly, I really like how Frontier did that, because I, I figured, I figured they figured that maybe we'd be doing stuff like this, which, again, is good, because, you know, now it's more convenient for us. Um, great, now my only question is, where the hell am I going to put the gate? Damn it, I need to restart that. But um, I could just do that on my own time. I don't really need to do that right now. Um, oh, crap. We didn't get this last one. Shrank him. There we go. So let's see how the Corythosauruses are doing. I think they're okay. Yeah, they're doing okay. That's perfect. We might need more in their population, which is fine. We could do that. But how are the uh, Pentaceratops are fine. Because they're the only ones I'm really worried about as far as, like, uh, you know, what, what's that thing called? Population. There you go. But how are the Taurosauruses? They're doing okay, actually. There we go. Our third dinosaur in this, our third species in this enclosure. I think this is our first enclosure that we have more than two species of dinosaurs in. Actually, that's not true. The Gallimimus enclosure. Those have three different species of dinosaurs, which... Oh, Jesus. How many dinosaurs do we even have in this game? We have 56. Or 59, sorry. Jesus Christ, okay, well, um, that's a lot of dinosaurs, so let's just, uh, get all these guys, let's get the rest of our assets and put them in their enclosure, so, yeah, so anyways, back to that list that I was talking to you guys about, or just that, that chart of the dinosaurs, I'll post it up so, uh, so you guys know what I'm talking about, just in case you guys need it, because honestly, if you're gonna do a park like this, um, you're probably gonna need that list just to know what dinosaurs to put in your enclosure, and, just to know what dinosaurs can, you know, move in with what dinosaurs move in, like their roommates. But, um, yeah, no, it's just good that you know, because stuff like this is going to be really difficult if you just go in there without knowing what you're doing. I think I already modified the Allosaurus, um, you know? But I don't think I've ever changed this color. we got Step, Arid, and Wetland. We're going to go ahead and do Wetland, because I like Wetland. Um... Also, I want to increase its lifespan, give it a good defense. Um, how many can actually live with the Allosaurus? I think I made it so two Allosauruses 
can live with each other. Okay, so I want to do two because I want I want the colors to be a bit diverse. So I don't only want a wetland uh, Allosaurus. I want an arid Allosaurus as well. So we'll do that. And then again, we're going to have a Patasaurus in our park as well, which I think I um, made into... Uh, I think the genome is already set. I, it's funny. I did this on purpose. Like, I did the whole... Uh, for the most part, for uh, most of the dinosaurs in the game, I've already... Uh, you know, modify their genome so that I didn't have to do it uh, during the video. That way I could skip all that boring stuff. But now, <laughs> I'm going back to it, and uh, I, I keep going back to it. Um, so wait, hold up. How much can... Oh, no, I didn't think about this. How much can Allosaurus take in its, um, in its population? Because that's the real question here. Um, let's take a look at it real quick. Oh, 16. So it takes 16 dinosaurs. That's perfect. Uh, what about the Apatosaurus? I'm pretty sure the Apatosaurus can take a lot, actually. Um, it could take 22. Perfect. Now we just need to know for the Dilophosaurus, because the Dilophosaurus is also going to be in here. So let's see. Uh, here it is. 22. There we go. All right, perfect. But wait, hold up. How much in its social? 1 to 12. That's perfect. We could put in like two or three of them and we'll be all set. Perfect. All right. So how are the Edmontosauruses doing? They're just being flown in. Comfort's pretty low. I don't know why. No, their comfort's going back up. Oh, their comfort's up. That's that's good. All right, good. Their population and social is perfect. I, they seem to like their new home. I like it. All right. So I think the next Hadrosaur enclosure is going to be right here. And I think it's going to be this whole thing. It's going to be kind of like a valley. We're going to put the rest of the Hadrosaurus in this enclosure. And I think that's pretty much it uh, as far as, um, you know, medium-sized herbivores. Now we just kind of need to focus on all the rest of the uh, um, larger herbivores. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the Sinoceratops, but we'll, we'll focus on that later. Uh, I'm not going to put the Sinoceratops anywhere yet. Uh, chances are I might actually put them in this enclosure because they might actually... These guys might actually accept more... Um, more so uh, for their population so that's pretty cool so here's what I want to do I want to make it look like a river god this is a terrible river see I'm working with a ps4 controller so the control see the controller for the ps4 when it comes to the when it comes to this game is not the best you know kind of controlling where you want everything it's really crappy actually um, we'll have it branch off this way as well oh my god that's terrible look at that What the hell is that the heck this is terrible no we're getting rid of this section right here actually um, okay uh, that looks a little bit better need to get rid of this Jesus Christ all right that's that's perfect that's perfect we'll take it all right this is a little bit better I like it it looks a lot better actually um, God I'm <laughs> I'm just now realizing that the more dinosaurs we have in here like the more it's gonna take for like the land to render in like that <laughs> oh my god like the longer it's gonna take because there's so many dinosaurs here ah uh, it was one of the things I was really hoping to avoid um, so we'll put in a bunch of foliage right there um, we'll put in some right here put in some right here kind of spread it out kind of like that uh, spread it out as much as possible because honestly again I don't like huge patches I really do I really just like uh, kind of stuff like this there we go like like thin patches so there's gonna be uh, we're gonna need a few different feeders here so we're definitely gonna need two different types of feeders for the carnivores so what we'll do is we'll do this feeder here we'll put the goat feeder over here and we'll go ahead and put this feeder right here. And we'll put two different ones right here. That way they're kind of close to the guests, you know. There we go. I like it. Perfect. But it looks like some of the dinosaurs are ready. No, do not open the gate. We don't want that. Um, one of the Allosaurus. So let's take a look at this Allosaurus. I think this is the arid skin one. So I've never seen an Allosaur another Allosaurus skin except for the default. And it... I don't know, from this angle, it doesn't look that impressive. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> so, wait, this is our first carnivore in the game. Our first official carnivore, guys. There it is. Oh, actually, look at that. 
It's a nice little color. I like that. Okay, so uh, now we're going to need the Apatosaurus out here. So first off, let's go ahead and trank this guy before we actually do anything with the Apatosaurus because he's going to get all cranky because he does not have another friend with him. So let's release the Apatosaurus, which is a different color, which I've only ever seen the um, default skin. So, okay, this one's a bit green. I like it. It's, it's a very simple uh, color, but it's like really nice. It kind of reminds me of the... Peter Jackson, uh, I think they were Chimerasauruses, like the, the sauropod, you know, and Peter Jackson's King Kong. But, uh, ooh, this looks nice. I like it. Okay, so, where's the Allosaurus? Is it already down? It's already down. There you go. Alright, so, all these Apatosauruses are done now, so, let's go ahead and release all of them and get the helicopters on them as well. I really like the Apatosauruses in this game. I really do. They're really, like, beautiful dinosaurs. And, um, I'm really glad that I, like, this enclosure looks perfect for them, honestly. I think they'll be very happy here with their Allosauruses and Dilophosaurus friends, you know? Just all of those guys. So, we should probably focus on making those Dilophosauruses. God, this, this game's getting a pretty laggy because of all the dinosaurs that are in here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Dilophosaurus. Again, I, I know... Um, actually, we're going to start with the Savannah. Um, so really, we only need a few of these guys. Um, so we don't really need to change anything except for the skin. So we're, I'm going to make a total of three. I'm going to make a total of three Dilophosauruses because um, I don't want to overdo it. But at the same time, I want to make sure that we have a good amount in our population. Even though that, honestly, the more dinosaurs we have, the more laggy the game is going to be. <laughs> oh, God, and I still need to put something in this enclosure. I think I'm going to put the... God, I don't I actually don't know what I'm going to put in here. I still have to think about that one. Um, but, no, so far we're doing pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm really liking this. Also, I need to focus on like stuff for like the people. I haven't really focused on the people yet because, well... Dinosaurs first, guys. Dinosaurs first. So let's go ahead and start. actually no. Let's wait. Um, wait, is the next Apatosaurus being released? Yes, it is. There it is. There it is. So no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope, don't go anywhere. We still got to get this one. And I think the Allosaurus is done for this one. Yes, it is. There we go. Perfect. Um, I'm also gonna get you trained. So let's take a look at this one. What is this? I think this is the wetland. Oh, that's nice. It's nice and dark. I like it. <laughs> I think this is a good choice with our first carnivores in the island. Um, oh shoot, no. Is it gonna go for the dead, uh, or not the dead, but the trained Apatosaurus? Can it do that? No, no. I think it can kill it if it's dead. Or uh, tranked. Damn it, no! No! <laughs> God damn it! I wish I really... I wish I saw that coming. That was pretty dumb of me. God damn it. <laughs> no! I hate how it takes like one bite to do it too. That's so stupid. Alrighty. I think that one was... Oh God, I don't even know what that one was. God damn it. Alright, hold up. And I was dumb enough to make them all wetland. God damn it. I didn't mean to do that. So, let's go ahead and put all the Apatosauruses in here first. Um, that way they get comfortable. Then we'll put in the carnivores and kind of see how the carnivores react. I'm not really sure if the herbivore, it's like the herbivore's presence will make the carnivores, uh, you know, anxious and uncomfortable or, you know, vice versa. I really hope that that's not the case. But if it is, then we're going to have to move some things around. But honestly, I, I think I'm okay with that. So, alright, well, that, that sucks. This thing is now gone. Get that out of there. God damn it. I really wish I thought of that <laughs> sooner. Okay, but that that's fine. Hold up. Okay, so there's three different spots. I think the Dilophosaurus is already, but I don't want to release them because I'm worried they're going to eat the freaking um, Allosaurus carcasses. Or not carcasses, but the, the Allosaurus is, uh, are already down. God damn it. Okay, well, also, because uh, it's a good thing that we're doing the Apatosaurus first because then I'll know the amount of forest they need because sauropods tend to be a bit more um well a, a bit more picky when it comes to the forest but you know something like the chimerasauruses are doing pretty good you know that's that's good honestly i really wish their legs i really wish their necks were a little bit longer the people can just barely see them which i guess is okay 
So it looks like... Oh, everything's perfect for these guys. Social is nice. Alright, perfect. Okay, so as far as forest and all that goes, it's good for those guys. But now we need to see the Allosaurus. Here we go, guys. So this is the first time I'm actually ever doing this. You know, not counting the uh, that whole mission I had to do with, um, you know, during our playthrough, our main playthrough. Um, so I... I don't really know what to expect. Now, I'm not expecting the Allosauruses to actually, you know, straight up hunt these guys down because, on uh, like, it's already been, like, confirmed that, not just confirmed, but it's been told to us by Frontier themselves that that can't happen unless it's an Indominus Rex. You know, Indominus Rex are the um, only things that can actually kill a sauropod. So, it's not that I think that the Allosauruses might kill the sauropods. It's more like that I think the sauropods just might make the Allosauruses uncomfortable. And seeing that I put the Allosauruses in, um, well, in a state where they could actually break out if they wanted to, I kind of want to avoid that because I, I did enable breakouts because, well, I want the challenge, guys. I just I want the challenge. That's the whole point of this game is the challenge. I know sandbox mode is kind of de kind of defeats the purpose of the challenge, but um, you guys know what I mean. But anyways, I really like this. Look at this. Oh no, no food and water. Your health is your health is going down. Eat something. Drink something. Um, but no, this this place this actually looks like a perfect ecosystem for the um for the apatosaurs. And big enough for a lot of dinosaurs, actually. So there we go. There are the, um, what do you call them? The, uh, the Dilophosauruses. So let's go ahead and just drink them real quick. Again, this game is getting very laggy because of the amount of dinosaurs that we have in our island. How many dinosaurs do we have now? We have 66 dinosaurs. Jesus Christ, by the end of this, we're going to have well over 100. I know that the small carnivores are not going to do anything. I'm going to incubate one more Dilophosaurus and put the put it in there but um i'll probably just we'll probably just do like a total of four oh, since that so much population can be handled with uh with all of these dinosaurs especially uh since you know they can handle like more than 20 or at least i think the apatosaurus can i'm not sure about the allosaurus um no that's the dilophosaurus i can't handle more than 20. i'll we'll go ahead and just incubate another um another dilophosaurus might as well and then i'll put in that apatosaurus in so oh they're in. They are in and they are eating because they are hungry. Hungry little guys. Look at that. Oh, poor guys. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I kept you from eating and your health is uh, decreasing. But don't worry. Now you're in this enclosure. You guys are pretty comfortable. Um, but what about the Apatosauruses? Are they comfortable? The health is still going down. Is it because they haven't drank water? They're dehydrated. Okay, that's fine. There's plenty of water in here. Looking for water. Water is right there, guys. Just dip your head down and just drink it. There you go. Come on. You're right next to it. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, this is a nice view right here. I can see the Allosaurus in the background. Ah, oh, come on. All right, I think I think that's good. I think we're good. You know, I these guys seem to um, seem to be able to live in uh, in, in harmony. And they're able to coexist. Oh, I like that. Look at it emerge from the forest. That's great. I like that. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I. this is perfect. This actually works out. And then small carnivores, because big carnivores and big herbivores can't really do much about them, can uh, live with big herbivores and big carnivores. You know, the, the small herbivores. Or the small carnivores, god damn it. It's a little hard when you're trying to keep track of everything. So I ended up making a wetland skin for three of the four Apatosaurus that I'm going to add in. And I'm a little disappointed at that because, well, I wanted to make this park very colorful. So I made a step, I think. A step um, Apatosaurus. So I think that's fine. So, um, yeah. We're just going to go see how the Dilophosaurus is fair with these guys. And uh, then we'll end the episode. There they are. Let's see the Dilos. Alright, their comfort's going up. Well, at least this one's. I'm not sure how the other one's faring. Um, here it is. This one's apparently the alpha of the two. Yeah, they seem to like everything. They have the good social, good population, uh, good grassland, and good uh, forest. Yeah, they're yeah, they're, they're easy to keep satisfied. So there we go. So they're not uncomfortable at all. How about the allosaurus? They're going straight for the sauropods. Or the apatosaurus, sorry. And so far, nothing. Not no change in comfortability. What about the? Uh, sorry, not the Dilophosaurus, but the Apatosaurus. Yep, nothing. So yes, guys, 
We're going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Sorry, I'm a little tired. But uh, yeah, there we go. So these three dinosaurs can live in harmony without any incidents. And that's great. Thank God. Now that I know that this is actually foolproof, I can actually do more with the... Um, with other dinosaurs, you know, like maybe I could put in T-Rex in the enclosure with another sauropod and stuff like that. That way we have more dinosaurs and more enclosures. I'm going to make another enclosure similar to this, but with different dinosaurs. It's probably going to have like a Brachiosaurus, maybe Carn Carnotaurus or, you know, uh, Baryonyx or Sukumime. It's one of those one of those dinosaurs. Uh, it'll probably be like right here or right here, just somewhere. Uh, we need to start adding in carnivores into this island because, well... Uh, we're pretty much almost done with the herbivores. We just need some of the sauropods, the cynoceratops, and the rest of the hadrosaurs, which will be in this enclosure. And, uh, yeah, until then, I hope you guys just enjoyed this video. And if you did, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Jurassic World Evolution and other cool dinosaur stuff I post on this channel. That's all I have to say for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and please have a nice day.